Hey, how's it going guys? Bob from Bobots Trains. Today I'm going to show you how I went from the old incandescent lighting in this MTH transfer warehouse to some new LED lighting that I installed. Let's get started. Here's the transfer warehouse under normal lighting conditions with the old incandescent bulbs. I turned the building upside down on my workbench to see what I was dealing with. I run my buildings at 12 volts DC, so you can see that the lights aren't very bright. I also thought it would be cool to add some lighting to the covered dock area. I researched LED lighting on the online train forums and online electronics forums for a couple weeks. I learned the equation to calculate appropriate resistor values to power LEDs in series and parallel circuits at a given voltage. This also helped me settle on a materials list for my project. I decided to go with Piranha Superflux LEDs in the warm white. These have a forward voltage of 3.2 volts and draw 20 milliamps. I also picked up a bunch of quarter watt carbon resistors in varying values that would seem appropriate based on my calculations. The plan was to replace the three incandescent bulbs with LEDs in similar positions. As previously mentioned, I run my buildings on 12 volt DC, so at 3.2 volts each for the LEDs, I could run three LEDs in series with the appropriate resistor. I started by cutting some non-conductive fish paper into small strips to mount my LEDs to. I pushed the LED leads through the fish paper so I could tin the leads and begin soldering the wires and resistors. Now let's play with the resistor math. My 12 volt source voltage minus 3.2 volts each for my LEDs leaves 2.4 volts left over. That 2.4 volts divided by 20 milliamps or 0.02 amps yields a 120 ohm resistor required for my circuit. Resistors don't come in every value, so if you get in a situation where you don't have the exact one based on your calculation, use the next higher up value. That 2.4 volts from the first line times 0.02 amps or 20 milliamps is 0.048 watts, which is less than a quarter watt or 0.25 watts. So in conclusion, a 120 ohm quarter watt resistor is appropriate in this circuit. Remember, this is 12 volts DC, not AC, that I'm using. And here's a schematic of my very simple circuit. So I ran all the wires through the inside of the building and soldered the resistor and LEDs together. And here I'm locating one of the LEDs on the fish paper to one of the supports inside the building. And I'm just using a little bit of super glue to hold it to the support. I know it's hard to see in this picture, but the covered deck area has an opening door that you see there in brown. Right above the doorway, I drilled two very small holes from the outside up under the deck roof into the inside of the building so that I could run my small wires out and hook up LEDs so I could light the platform area. Here I'm finishing soldering the wires to the LEDs going through the fish paper. I'm going to pull the wires back through and attach the fish paper and the LED to the underside of the roof. These two LEDs under the roof are a separate circuit from the one we calculated before. So there's two LEDs in series with a 12 volt supply. And I'll let you do the math to figure out what resistor should be used for this circuit.
Here's a photo of the completed circuit of the two LEDs under the roof. And here's the three LED circuit inside. Note that I left the other incandescent bulbs wired up in case someone wants to use them in the future. Here's the combined wiring from the circuits coming down into the corner and going out through the hole to the power supply. I left the MTH wiring intact. So to review, here the DC 12 volt comes in on the black and red wires up into the corner and I split there between my two circuits, the three and the two LED circuits with my appropriate resistors. After the resistor, the wire comes over down underneath the bracket, up on the red wire into this LED, out of this LED over, and in series hooked up to this LED, that wire comes back, runs up through the holes, down to the third LED in the top, and then back down to the black wire and out to the power supply. And for my second under roof circuit, the wires come from the supply, up along the roof as you can see here the red wire goes out under the roof the black wire comes back in across the bracket over and out through the holes I drilled to the other LED under the roof the black wire returns back down to the supply and as mentioned I left the original incandescent bulbs wiring and contacts in place in case they're to be used in the future And here's the original incandescent bulbs. Look under the roof and at the top through the window. And now the LED version. Here's the original incandescent bulbs with no other lighting in the room. And now with the LED lighting. And finally, the original incandescent bulbs with some auxiliary lighting from my floodlight towers. And with the LED bulbs. So you can definitely see a difference in the quality of light with the LEDs. It's a whiter, bluer light, if you will, than the incandescents. Of course, again, I'm running my incandescents on 12 volts, and they could be run as high as 18, so that could explain some of it. But they're definitely drawing less current, and I really like the quality of them, especially for accent lighting. So I hope this has been helpful for you guys, and thanks for watching.